Here is a quick question. Why worry about what you have? Or rather, why worry about what you don't have when you're being led by the one who has it all? My name is Victor Wanjala and this is DCAKZ's live series. We are going to read from the book of Exodus chapter 4 from verse 10 to 13. And it says, Then Moses said to the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. So the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth, or who makes the mute, the deaf, or seeing, or the blind? Have I not I, even the Lord? Now therefore, go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall say. But he said, O my Lord, please send by the hand of whomever else you may send. And you see, this is a very interesting portion of scripture. Moses was justified to say whatever it is that he said because nobody else knew Moses better than he knew himself. He was the only person who was with Moses the whole of his life. And it's very natural, it's very human for us as believers, for us as children of God, to think that this assignment is bigger than me because why? We know ourselves. But look at what God is saying. If we are only willing to step out of our, out of our own way, he's willing to do this thing for us. And there are quick facts that you should know. First of all, the giver of the assignment is always greater than the assignment. The second thing, everything that you need for the assignment that you are given will always be provided for. The third thing, there will always be help for you to carry out the assignment. You see, when Moses was being sent, God says, I know, I know there is a brother of yours that is called Aaron, and I know that he's eloquent in his speech. But this is what Aaron will do. You will go with Aaron, and Aaron will speak on your behalf, but you will stand in the space of God. So to mean that the help was there, but the assignment was to be carried by the original owner of the assignment, who was Moses. And the fourth thing is, the person, the giver of our assignment has always been tried and tested and this is his area of specialty because you know what there is nothing like impossibilities with him he knows that when he gives something he knows when he gives you an assignment he is able to see you through and carry you through it so here is again the question why worry about what you have or what you don't have when you're being led by the one who has it all baraka